Hello. Today we're going to look at baseline execution index BEI, how to calculate this in a Microsoft project schedule. Uh, the baseline execution index is one of the DMCA metrics. And this tutorial was prompted by a question on the MS Office forums. Someone is asking how to do this in Microsoft project. And if you need more information on baseline execution index, you could go to this blog, Baseline Achieved. We've done a brilliant post on it. Um, the link to this blog will be, will be displayed below the description of this video. And the formula I'm interested in is this formula. So total number of completed tasks before now, divided by the summation of the total number of completed tasks before now and the total number of incomplete baseline tasks with baseline finish less than or equal to now. So that will be similar to this. This is a summary of that will be X, will be total number of completed tasks before status date, which is what I'm going to use in this tutorial, or current date if that's your preference while y will be total number of baseline tasks with baseline finish less than or equal to status date or current date and the bi will be x divided by x plus y so if we take this microsoft project schedule as an example we've got four milestones in this schedule and 11 tasks you notice that two of the tasks were not part of the baseline so what we need to do first of all is to calculate the total number of um, completed tasks so if i add a column i'll go for a number column so if i pick number one format we name this field just go number of completed tasks. Now I'm going to use a formula, and the formula I want is go for an if. Now, first of all, I need to exclude milestones from the calculation because um, the BI doesn't take my stones into consideration so we go if it's not a milestone a flag and percent complete is equal to a hundred percent complete is equal to a hundred so what I'm saying is for each task that it's not a milestone and, the, and it's completed, just go one. If it's not completed, if it's not completed, or it's a milestone, just put zero there. Yeah, it is just a prompt saying existing data will be deleted. I go okay, and I click yep. See, so we've got what we wanted. All the completed tasks, are, they've got one there. This is not complete, it's got zero. This is a milestone, it's got zero. And the summary, they've got zero is still. So for the summary, if we go back, for the summary, I just want to sum, so that my, I'm gonna use the roll up for summary task, and then just sum, sum all the subtasks. So if I do OK, yep, and that will do. So this, we've got six subtasks here completed and four completed. So that's fine. Now, I need another custom field. So, so go for number two. Let me put that, I'll just format this and say the name I just maybe put so that it's easy to X equals to this. For a new column, I will name it 
y equal to um how do i name this now okay i'll say not on the percent and baseline finish less than or equal to status date okay and the formula this time will be again it's an if statement So similar to what we did before, we go, if it's not a milestone, flag milestone, and percent complete. It's, this time it's, it's not 100%. And we're going for Baseline finish. Is less than or equal to status date. So if I go project date status date. So if the true part of this, if this is true, we go one, but if it's not, we go zero. Yeah, say so, okay. The formula contains a syn syntax error. Okay. Okay. Now, as expected, you've got everything is zero except for this task that's not 100% complete and it's the baseline finish date is in the past. Um, I can show you my status date. So my status date is the end of the 23rd of, of April. So now I've got my X and Y So I've done all that calculation. So X and Y. So oh sorry for Y we still need to do for the for the summary task. So if we go format custom field for summary again, the rule up should be sum. So that we've got one here. Yep. So that's fine. So now that I've got my X and Y, so it means I need to calculate the, the BEI now. So if I go back here, if I collapse this, so this for this subtask, but for the project, you can see, so my X is 10 and my Y is one. So if I come here and do X is 10, Y is one. So this formula should be 10, Divide by 10 plus 1, which is equal to 10 divided by 11, which should be equal to, that should be 0. Point, uh, 0 0.91. So when we do our BI calculation, this is what we should get, 0 0.91. So we'll come back to our schedule. Notice I've rolled it up because BI is for at a project level, so the calculation. So I'll add another column. Number three this time. So custom I will name this BEI. BEI. You can say b equals to x divided by x plus y. So you always have that formula at the back of your mind. Okay. So the formula we want is x divided by x plus y. Okay. 
So because we're dealing with summary level activities, we go, I'll go with an if statement again, so that we don't have a divide by zero, which comes in play when you're for milestones. So we go, if the expression will be, if it's a summary activity, if it's a summary activity, yep, then we do this calculation. So we do our X, go number, custom field, X, yep. Divide by, go back for X again, which is number of completed tasks, plus Y, go back to a custom field, which is baseline finish dates that are behind status date and then 100% complete, so our Y. Close the bracket, and for the false part, we go with we go with zero. If it, go with zero. Okay. Yep. Existing data will be deleted. Okay. Okay. With our formula sorted, we now need to look at the summary task for group summary rules. We're not going to do a well of this time. We just use the formula since the formula accounts for summary. So we say use formula and okay, and voila, 0 0.91, which is the same as what we calculated manually. Yep, so that's it. So depending on your preference, you can hide these two columns and just keep the BI column. The way I've, I've set up my view so I can actually save it, I've got a BI calculation view. So uh, that's all for today. Hit the subscribe button just to encourage me to produce more videos. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.